G'day, this is Simon and James, our seventh birthday at South OC Cars and Coffee. Hard to believe we've been doing this for seven years, James. It is crazy. Can't believe we made it this far. This is awesome. A uh, huge turnout today, perfect weather as you can see. A uh, ton of new sponsors here, some great exhibitions of stuff as well. So much to see, mate. What have you seen? We have a crazy mix of supercars here today. We have a Pista, we have a ton of SVJs, ton of Huracans, ton of pretty much everything that you guys could possibly want to see. It's just a good mix this morning. What about you? Yeah, we've got a Triumph group that came in, so a ton of Triumphs. I'm surprised that that number of Triumphs are actually all running at the same time. <laughs> That's all right. Well, we're going to have to pay to have the oil cleaned up after they've gone. That's not fair. Great to see all those Triumphs. And we saw a massive group of Volkswagens coming in. Good thing about Volkswagens is that they don't lose coolant, so you know that's yeah, that's, good. that's an upside. I haven't seen that many Volkswagen. There's buses, there's Beetles, you name it. A ton of those as well. Just a ton of everything. Hey, don't forget if you're coming to South OC Cars and Coffee, please remember to respect our rules: no speeding, no revving, no burnouts. That includes on the streets of San Clemente and getting on and off those freeways. All right, mate, let's go for a walk and check some stuff out. Let's do it. Here we have a very clean SF90 here this morning. Absolutely beautiful red paint. You see these massive carbon ceramic brakes on this car. Of course, you have the uh, non-Daytona seats actually, which is interesting. You don't normally see these without those massive carbon buckets, but a very beautiful car, very, very fast as well. The guys from Velocity who actually get these classic, classic in this case, Chevy Blazer. Have a look at this, under the hood, LS. They do this, they do all sorts of things, but just the quality of their work, what's great is it's kind of resto mod, but it's got a feel still towards the classic vehicle, which I personally like. I mean, look at the gauges and the, the steering wheel and everything, and yet kind of modern, but still sort of kind of old, except of course underneath here, huge performance and reliability. I mean, this thing looks like it's just rolled off the uh, production line. I mean, look at the, the heat shield and the, and the sound deadening underneath there. Everything is just so beautifully done. This looks like it could be a brand new vehicle under there. A very nice addition to the front row. Here we have this beautiful classic Diablo. Of course, you have the V12 with the gated five-speed manual finished in timeless yellow. This thing is so, so cool. Absolutely love it, the Diablo VT. Such a pretty car. Here we have a stunning 991.1 GT3 RS. This car belongs to John from Yoast Auto Tailoring. He's the guy running the shop over there. This thing is absolutely beautiful. You can see the metallic gray paint along with these black accents on the car, the yellow brakes, the bucket seats, the naturally aspirated flat six. This car is absolutely beautiful. It's a, it does not get better than this for the 991.1. Here we have a lineup of SVJs here this morning. 36 cylinders between these three cars. They are absolutely beautiful. Which one do you take between the green, the white, or the yellow? I personally love the SVJ Roadster. That crazy active roof scoop in the car. What a beautiful spec. Absolutely love these things. Here we have two very, very nicely spec modern Ferraris. First off, we have the silver SF90s with a crazy set of silver Vossens on the side. I love this paint match look that they've got going on. It is absolutely killer. No Assetto Furiano package on this car, so you'll notice it doesn't have a crazy massive spoiler on the back made out of carbon fiber and all these other, you know, race goodies. It's a very sleek, understated car, but still insanely fast. Then next to it, the Navy Pista with the red and white stripe. I absolutely love this car. Very, very nice and honestly kind of a more similar price point than they were before. Which one would you take between these two? Here we have probably the meanest M4 that we've had at South OC Cars and Coffee. This of course being the G82 that belongs to none other than Fresh Kicks himself. This has an insane Adro front end and actually a full kit on the car. You can see factory, I believe it's factory satin frosted paint, insane bead locks. So you know this car makes some insane horsepower. This aero kit does look very, very nice. Absolutely love it. This beautiful full carbon fiber 1969 Camaro has been a previous car of the week winner. Uh, I mean, just beautiful, supercharged uh, LT under the hood there as you get in a brand new Camaro. Beautiful interior. 
wonderful instrumentation, look, beautiful pedal box, everything on this car is magnificent. All this amazing carbon fibre, the fact that the whole body is carbon and it's not carbon over seal, this is stuff that's actually been made with a, the body's actually been made from carbon. Love the fact that it's got the flush glass through here, there's no trim pieces, drip rails have all, all gone but they've still got a nice little style line through here. Uh, it, it, every single angle you look at this thing is perfect and yet not overdone. The mirrors for example are not carbon. Um, it's just an absolute wonderful, wonderful, wonderful build. Go back and check it out as our uh, previous Car of the Week winner. We absolutely love it when we get clubs to South Sea Cars and Coffee and these guys are one of them. This is the local Triumph Club. Uh, Gary from the club was telling me something like 22 Triumphs have rolled up here today which is one of the biggest events outside of their own specialty uh, Triumph events. So, so many beautiful cars. There's a TR6 there, there's a TR4, GT6, great, beautiful little car, wonderful lines through there. Nice little hard top on this TR5, another TR5 here. And then rolling through, just look at all these beautiful cars through here. Another TR6, TR3 there, so something a little older. And then, look at this, isn't this beautiful? These wonderful, simplistic little cars. How easy to work on this too, once you swing the whole front end forward, you got all of that room to be able to move. Beautiful little car. Isn't this little one wonderful? This is a little TR3 in black. TR6, I love that blue. This in grey, wonderful car. Next to it, we have a ring-in. We have an Austin Healy in there. Try it because all part of the same sort of family. Um, all of these sort of cars, that's why there are so many things that are shared. Look at this beautiful little Triumph over here. Put the hood forward and then rolling through this the GT6. Ah, a stag. That's interesting. We don't see many of these. My dad used to love these. I can remember as a kid growing up. He used to love the stag. Uh, running that Rover 3.5 litre V8, a couple of Strombergs on top of that thing. Um, that motor was used in basically everything. All the old Rovers, the Triumphs, the later the Land Rovers. Uh, and Range Rovers, another beautiful little TR4 there. Uh, this is interesting, TR6, so these cars, there's not a lot of them around. Pop-up headlights, they were a great little style car, but they, they weren't necessarily held in such good favour, but I think they were a really pretty little car at the time, I remember really liking them at the time. TR7, sorry, I said TR6, TR7. Um, great little car, great little car. And then rolling through, TR250, magnificent. Another through here, and then a ring in over here as well. We've got an MGB later model. You can tell by the front front bumpers on it. And then uh, another MG down here. So welcome to the Triumph Club. Remember, if you have a club and you want to bring them to South OC Cars and Coffee, please do what these guys did. Reach out in advance. Send us all the details. We'll bring you in early so we can park you together and you can make a big day of it. As I mentioned earlier, a ton of sponsors here today. These guys, Clubhouse Auto Storage, go and see Josh. He also takes cars in and sells them as well. Beautiful, beautiful roadrunner here this morning. Make sure to check out VinFast. Great to have them here as well. They're actually uh, offering deals with, uh, with coffee. Um, and then rolling through a little further, we've got the guys at Next Level Auto Protection. So if you need paint correction, if you need PPF, all of those great things come and see the guys at Next Level. And then we come to, of course, Hemmings. If you have a vehicle you want to sell, make sure to come and check out Hemmings. They do an amazing job. You can lift, list your car on their website. Finally, as we roll down here, this is this beautiful limited Mazda. Uh, wonderful CX-70. Go and check this thing out. Limited color, built in Japan. There's some cool things about this car, not only the color. Look at the actual uh, luggage you can get with it as well. So Mazda, first week on, they've been uh, sponsors before. They've actually done reveals with us previously. Now they're actually an official sponsor. So make sure to check out Mazda on our website. zombie apocalypse happens you need to get yourself something that's bulletproof and clearly this is have a look at this I think the visibility may be screwed up just a little bit 
but uh, wow, have a look at that. Uh, this is amazing. So limited edition, obviously built, bulletproof 37s on it. Absolutely crazy. Don't know, I'd like to be sitting in it when somebody shoots at that window like that, but hey, amazing stuff. So. Look at this clean old Plymouth here. It's absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Great colour. That oil bath air cleaner on top there. Inline or flathead six, should I say. Just a great old car, isn't it? Oh, three on the tree next to a beautiful Mustang, almost the same colour. Yeah. Wonderful classic car. And then next to it again, and then next to it again, beautiful Stingray, and then a classic 1968 Camaro. What a good lineup of cars. That is it for a very busy weekend here at South Ocean Cars and Coffee on our seventh anniversary. Thank you guys so much for coming each and every weekend for these past seven years. It's been a blast hosting you. Please remember to respect our rules, no revving, no speeding, and no burnouts. That includes on the property, leaving, getting on and off those freeways, and then driving through the streets of San Clemente as well. And then I want to say a huge thank you to all the sponsors for helping us make this event possible. We have the brackets here, Way Marketing, Mazda, Meguiar's, Hemmings, Vinfast, Next Level Auto Protection, Alpha Towing Company, One of One Vans, Josh the Auto Buyer, Mountain View Adventure Vehicles, Carbontastic, and then Happy Jewelers as well. God, that's a mouthful. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. And then I want to give a huge shout out to all the volunteers as well for helping us put on this event each and every week. We could not do it without you guys. If you want to become a volunteer at South OC Cars and Coffee, hit us up on Instagram. It's at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch. It's where we handle all the volunteer rostering. And then while you're over there, check out some of our hats, hoodies, t-shirts, and all this kind of awesome stuff that we've got going on right now. If you're volunteering at South OC Cars and Coffee, you get to bring your car in before 8.30. And then Ruby's Anna provides a free coffee and donut for everyone helping us out. Yeah, big thank you to Ruby's for doing that. And also feeding the masses while they're here. And a big thank you to Outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here as well. Remember, if you need to do any shopping, go to the movies, uh, grab a coffee, whatever. Come to the Outlets, tell them South OC Cars and Coffee sent you. Well, that is it. Thank you so much for watching our seventh birthday edition. Have a great week. We'll see you back here very soon for another South OC Cars and Coffee. Thank you, guys.